Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Okay, beautiful. This is a timeless collective reading. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a timeless collective reading for all signs. So whenever you hear the messages and you're meant to receive it, keep in mind, I do mention signs and gender, but energy is fluid. Meaning, um, a person could be any sign. This could be your story or someone else's story. He could be a she, she could be a he. Okay, the roles could be reversed. Please, only take the messages that resonate with you. So the Ten of Cups just fell out. Hmm. Let's see what else comes out. I keep saying this, this King of Pentacles. Okay, King of Pentacles Emperor. Ooh, is somebody preparing to go all the way? Yes, somebody's preparing to be very generous with you. Or this is you. You could be, you know, a masculine, whether female or male. But somebody is preparing a very generous offer here with the Ten of Cups falling out. Like, some, this popped out like, hey, <laughs> I need to relay this message that somebody wants equal give and take. Oh, King of Pentacles, the Emperor. I like it. Okay, Four of Pentacles. Somebody is not letting you go. Now, this could be a past energy or new. I feel like it's new energy, Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody is walking away from a lot to be with, yes, to balance the situation out. Oh, I like it. I like it, like it. Three of Cups, yes. Somebody is leaving behind things that could have been like delaying this connection or partnership. For some of you, it, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. The Four of Wands? Who's getting married? Is somebody going to have a, propose, a Christmas proposal? New Year's proposal? Or somebody may propose the idea of having a partnership? Some of you, somebody right now, as they are thinking about their New Year plans, they are definitely considering Hangman in the reverse. They're like, yeah, let's stop delaying this. Let's, 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 let's stop. Let me see if I can tilt this down so you can see the cards a little better. Yeah. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So somebody is, is really like, not like somebody has gone through an awakening. Somebody is going through like a spiritual awakening. Somebody also could be having a lot of different epiphanies or realizations about themselves, about their family, because somebody is walking away from something that they've been holding on to tightly, or somebody is realizing that someone has been holding on to them tightly. The Four of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups and the Hangman, hey this also could be some type of family secret. I feel I'm here to say like, yeah, it's not as sweet as you think it is. Queen of Swords. Exactly. Queen of Swords. <laughs> this could even be a feminine telling somebody like, yeah, your family ain't as nice as you think they are. <laughs> somebody is really just like checking a person about their family like, yeah, this dynamic isn't what you think it is. Either someone is saying this to you or you're, you've said this to someone, but it looks like somebody now is choosing to Go on the eight of cups is like leaving behind what doesn't serve you. Someone is choosing to now take their own personal journey so that they can have balance because somebody wants to celebrate, someone wants to break away from a, a family, a group, a friends, um, an old relationship, or whatever because they want their own foundation. Somebody's like, I want my own family now. Look, eight of cups and, and the strength card. So somebody is finding the strength to finally see something clearly and to move away from it because they're they're seeing that it doesn't serve them. I'm going to clarify this. Seven of Wands. With the justice, somebody is standing up. 
for something that they believe in. They're fighting for their own rights. They want somebody wants justice because they're they're realizing like, yeah, I need to stand up for what I believe in. I need to seek justice in this situation if I'm going to actually be able to celebrate and have my own wish fulfillment, my own foundation, my own family, my own household, my own legacy. I have to stand up for myself now. Somebody is choosing that, especially, you know, it is December on the week of Christmas, Mercury retrograde. Somebody is looking and they're just like this whole family situation or this past relationship, this, this failed marriage or whatever. Somebody's like, this is holding me back. I need to let this go. The hermit. Yeah. Somebody has been in solitude. I feel like somebody also, this is for, for sure, somebody is preparing for something more serious and stable in their life. I feel like somebody is turning away from celebrating with friends and family. Somebody is looking at their friend group for sure. And they're just like, yeah, I don't really want to hang out with those people. Somebody somebody here could be deciding that they, they don't want to drink as much. They don't want to party as much. They're cutting down their circle. Like somebody, yeah, look at that. The devil, somebody is really doing the work. Look, the Ten of Wands. Somebody has seen. It's something here that's holding them back, and now they want to be free from it. This is really good news. So this is you or someone you're connected to. The King of Cups is here. Wow. And look, there's a masculine out here, you guys. There's a masculine. They're getting... Um, they're getting in touch and in tune with their emotions, okay? And this person, they want to come in and sail to peaceful, calmer waters, I feel, with a, a feminine. But this person, there's something here that they have to let go of. Queen of Wands and the Lovers is here. And the Six of Cups. The Two of Cups, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles. There's definitely a masculine here who has been torn between more than one feminine. This doesn't have to be too romantic interest, but I feel like somebody here is King of Cups, um, a bit of a people pleaser. I feel like somebody is realizing that they need to choose, like I said, their, their person in their life. This could be the type of person that is very much stuck on you know, well, I need to always be there for my mom. I always need to be there for my sister or, oh, I always need to be there for my best friend. I always need to be there for my ex because of our history. The Six of Cups, somebody feels like because of history that it's okay for them to stay connected to something. However, somebody doesn't realize that they're keeping themselves bound to a situation that no longer serves them. Yeah. You have here the lovers, the six of cups, and then the two of the two of cups, and then the knight of pentacles. So somebody is leaving something or someone behind, moving into a connection where it's it's like equal give and take. Whenever I see the lovers card, I always say the, the on this particular day, the lovers they're not touching hands, but the two of cups, they're both coming together with their cup. The lover's card, a lot of times, this can be like a very, very, to me, it's a, a deep, like, spiritual connection or it's something that's just kind of been there. You were born into it since the beginning of time. But the two of cups, to me, it's, it's interesting because the lover's is like Gemini energy. And, and people always say the lover speaks of a choice, right? But the two of cups, I feel like the two of cups is when a decision has been made. The two of cups is decision made. I'm choosing to share my cup with you. I'm choosing now to accept whatever is in your cup and I'm going to share with you what's in my cup. The two of cups to me is this is vulnerability. This is transparency. There are no more choices. The decision has been made that we're coming together. And somebody is either realizing that they need to reconnect with someone with, from their past or they need to be completely done with the situation from the past that just was not turning into this two of cups situation. So somebody here could have a very strong spiritual or emotional connection with somebody. But to be honest with you, there it's lacking like a physical commitment. It's, it's, la it's not a, a physical connection. 
So there's no commitment here. The Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is now choosing to like move in a different direction. Ace of Pentacles, wow. Knight of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody has a plan. The Hierophant. Somebody is planning to marry a person. They may, they've come to, they've reached a decision. That's the judgment card. Wow. Wow. Somebody has decided, yeah. I've met the person that I want to be with. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, underneath that is a freaking Ace of Cups. This offer is being hidden from you, though. This person is not, oh my goodness, this person is, look at them. <laughs> this person is not coming out telling you. You feel like this person is in and out there hot and cold. They're hiding something. They are hiding something. This person is hiding the fact that they are the Knight of Pentacles working on becoming the King of Pentacles because they want to give you equal give and take because they want you to have the Ten of Pentacles. This is all Pentacles. Somebody here that has a lot of Earth in their chart. Heavy, heavy Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yeah, this person is hiding. And they don't, this person, they don't want you to see this offer coming. This is somebody too, I'm hearing them say, like, it's so, for some of you, you're very hard to surprise. This person, they don't, page of swords, page of cups, the will of fortune, then the nine of, pen, nine of pentacles. Some of you are already very, um, with the page of swords, even at a page of cups, you could be very intuitive. Okay, you could be very, like, tap in. They they know that it's very hard to shock you or to surprise you. And right now, they're trying to make sure that they don't give away this because you could be the type of person, like I said, maybe it's hard to shock you or surprise you, but they do want to shock or surprise you. I, I feel like this person, what I'm, the energy that I'm, it's a very intuitive message, actually. This person feels like with the nine of pentacles, you're already very uh, self-sufficient, abundant. Um, you're very secure on your own. This person, they really want to bring their A game, but this person also feels like they want to be the one that proves you wrong. This person already, if, if somebody here feels like you don't have a lot of hope or faith, in love, in partnerships, in relationships, and they also don't feel like you have a lot of faith in them. Because when you look at this person, although they have the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, this love here, you see this person as the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Nine of, Nine of Wands, and the Moon. You feel like this person is tricky. They're a trickster. You feel like they may be a playboy, playgirl. They're in and out. They're hot and cold. They're fickle. They're naive. They're impulsive. They're irrational. You may feel like at times they're lying. They're cheating, scheming, scamming. And you may even feel like they breadcrumb you with the page of pentacles. You may question whether or not this person has enough to offer you. This person, though, the moon here is hiding. The Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. They've already made a decision with the Two of Cups to be the Knight of Pentacles coming in with the Eight. So whatever they come in with, it's going to grow. This, this, this Knight of Pentacles is saying that they have a plan that's already in motion. And it is going to grow. This is for many of you, it's going to lead to marriage, a very serious commitment. And right here with the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, this person, they're, they're, this person is traditional, especially with the Hierophant. And I feel like with the Hierophant being here next to the Judgment card, either this person wise counsel, um, it could be an elder, it could be a mentor, or this person literally is tapping in and God has told them, this is your person. This is who you need to make an offer to, and they're listening to it. They, this person has gotten some type of confirmation. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> this person knows that you've been deceived and you've been betrayed. They already know that, like, you you, you have trust. I thought this person, you have trust issues. You're not, 
this person also, they don't like the way you view them. They feel like you view them as somebody who, like I said, you're like they're in and out. They're, they're tricky. You may see this person as highly sexual, but I feel like a, for some of you now, this isn't everyone's situation, but who, whoever I'm talking to right now, some of you, the way that you see this person, it has a lot to do with your past. You're easily triggered. You, it, it seems like somebody here, if you're not careful, you will quickly and easily put this person in a box that they don't belong in. The Ace of Wands here. Even with the devil being here with the Four of Wands, for some of you, this person, they, they, it's like this devil energy is not toxic. But I mean, they, they really are. It's a very, very strong connection. It's like, it's, it's overwhelming to this person how bad they want to be with you. Ace of Wands in the world. Yeah. This person is very passionate right now about tying up cycles in their life, bringing it into something so that they can travel towards you. Yeah, they're going to quickly come towards you because they see themselves teaming up, collaborating, and working with you. They're moving forward. Okay. They understand that there's been some kind of third party blockage or interference here. They're working very hard now to make you their empress. Yeah, a decision has been made. This person is turning their back on a situation that left them feeling defeated. And I think it has a lot to do, again, with like friends and family. This person is cleansing and clearing their energy. They're, they're, removing people from their circle of friends. They're, you know, limiting their contact with certain people. And what you're going to see is the truth is coming in. The three of wands with the ace of swords, the truth is coming in in this situation. You do not see this coming. <laughs> Eight of swords, the high priestess, and the nine of swords here. You don't see this. And that's exactly how this person, will. this person is actually afraid that you're going to see this offer coming. They don't want you to see it coming. They really don't want you to see this. This person is stressed out. They're like, wow, I really don't want this person to see this offer. Death card, four of cups. This person also right now, they feel they are concerned about the fact that whatever they're planning or strategizing, I don't know if it's like a, a timing issue or what. But what they are afraid of is that the death and four cups, they're afraid that this situation could end and it could be a missed opportunity before it gets started. Queen of Pentacles and then the two of swords, yeah. And the magician, the four of swords. This person is constantly daydreaming, fantasizing, planning, they're resting, they're retreating, they're trying to heal. They're doing a lot here. They see you as wish fulfillment. You're their, you're the star to them. I feel like this person is actually lacking a lot right now because they're trying to pull something. To, this person is very much invested in trying to do something, the five of ones. But I'm going to tell this person is trying hard, though, to not show you how invested they are in you. The five of pentacles, it's like this person, they may need help themselves right now. They could even be going through like some kind of hardship, health issues, uh, financial problems. They could be feeling left out in the cold or abandoned because they're turning their back on a lot of things. I feel like this person is going through a lot right now because the five of cups is here. They're, they're sad. They're disappointed. This person, whatever they found out too about their friends or family has them very disappointed. This person is in the energy right now where they're like, yeah, I don't want to deal with anybody. They may be coming off a little bit cold, detached, very rigid at this time because they're analyzing a lot. This person is, is finding out things about themselves and about people around them that they've been very invested in. And they're seeing that, wow, all of this conflict and chaos was right there under their nose. So now this person, yeah, they're a bit paranoid, but they're going to come out of it. The temperance, wow, and the sun, they're going to come out of this beautifully. Oh, that's pretty. That's, well, this is a man on, this is like such a, the energy is, it's pretty. <laughs> it's, it's so, the sun and the temperance, it's so pure. It's so, like, 
it's like Phoenix flight. Like somebody literally, everything is being removed. This could be you or this person. It could be both of you. You could be mirroring this person. But it's like you're coming out like white as snow, just pure from whatever this is. There's something being like removed from your life and your energy. And somebody, like I said, they've been juggling a lot, trying to take the lead in this situation, but they will be victorious and successful and they are going to come towards you. This page one, you will receive some very positive news. I don't know why I just did the cards like this. I let, whenever I use this big deck, I don't like to shuffle it a lot. So I just kind of let the, the deck just tell its own story. <laughs> that, that's what it is. I kind of like doing that, actually. It's very clear and direct. Somebody right now, they are feeling a little bit down. They could even be distancing themselves from you because they're realizing some things about, like I said, about their life. There could be a family secret that's coming out. They're realizing that someone very near and dear to them could have betrayed them in some type of way. Or they're just realizing that certain people in their life, especially from their past, their childhood, their family don't really resonate with them. But they're, whatever they see themselves having in their future, they, they very well could include you. They're saying like, okay, I really have to detach from certain people, places, things, and situations to have this. Some of you don't realize when somebody is, is taking a huge, huge risk to try to create a life, but I'll be honest, they don't really want you to know how invested they are because this person, they're not quite sure if they can pull this off yet. So... Because the Ten of Swords, because the Nine of Pentacles is here, it's your energy and the Ten of Swords. Because they know you've gone through so much to get to where you are. With the Wheel of Fortune to finally be in a place of having good karma. They don't want you to see them as bad karma. They also don't want you to experience any of their bad karma. So if they're going through a dark night of the soul or even karma themselves... They're trying very hard to not transfer this onto you. They don't want you to carry their load or their burden or their baggage. This person is actually trying to take the proper steps to get everything in their life together so that they can create a life with you. This is somebody who is traditional, okay? They don't move quickly. They are traditional. For some of you, they could even be a little bit religious. Like for some of you, you need to know this person. I don't feel like they're going to want to live with you or like this person wants a courtship. There is something about this person that is traditional. I, I, I really want to say old fashioned. It's not a bad thing, but they, they have a certain vision of how they want a relationship to be. Like they, and for some too, this person, Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, they're on a journey now where somebody is going on a journey to marriage. This person is having dreams. They're having visions. They're thinking about it. They're manifesting it. I don't know what recently happened for this person. And I'm, I pick it. it it's something recently for some of you, it's something in the last literally like six to eight weeks where this person is just like, they just, they're no, they know they're waking up every day and they're thinking family, marriage, family, marriage, kids, family, marriage, kids, family, marriage, kids, finances. Like it's all they're thinking about, but they don't want to come to you and say, Hey, I, you know, I think that we should take it to the next level or they're not really saying that to you yet. Like they're trying to get their plan together first. Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune is here. That this good luck is coming to you. Something here is about to shift and change. This person could be thinking a lot too, like uh, of course, about like the new year. Look, ooh, the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, 
You have a lot of abundance coming. A lot. Oh, man. You have the Empress and the Seven of Cups here. And the Hermit. The Magician. Here's the King of Cups. And I did just see underneath the Wheel of Fortune is the Queen of Cups. With the Eight of Wands. Two of Wands here and a Three of Pentacles. Somebody could be considering leaving a job behind to relocate. Or, like, somebody is changing things in their life. The Three of Pentacles. Somebody is, like, trying to get on their life purpose. They could be changing their job. Somebody could be changing. Some of you don't know. Somebody is making some very, very drastic changes to try to come towards you. But they're not telling you this. And they're not telling you because if they can't make this happen, especially in a certain time, they don't want to disappoint you when you think that they're playing around. Like, this person's like, the last thing I need is for you to feel disappointed. I don't know if this is somebody that you've already kind of been waiting on. And they're like, man, just bear with me just a little bit longer. This, is not, this isn't a person that has hurt you. This may be somebody you've had to have patience with. But this person, I'm telling you, they do not want to hurt you. They don't. This is not a person with bad intentions. The Empress and the Seven of Cups. This person, like they in the in the Hermit. This person goes to off to themselves when they're alone. They just dream and fantasize about about you. They overthink a lot, so they they overthink a lot about do they have the tools and the resources and can they manifest this new beginning with you this person though on whatever spiritual journey or this journey of self-discovery that they're on they are realizing that this is indeed a spiritual connection and they want to create like this person is learning about like the law of attraction or manifestation again this could be someone who is a little bit traditional maybe even religious but now it's like oh wow you know, whatever spirituality, they could have recently discovered that they have some kind of spiritual gift. Mm. This is just opening up. It's just blooming. Something is just opening up to this person. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. It's just a huge turning point, a huge shift coming. Really, uh, the big thing about this shift, though, is the fact that this twin flame connection, I do feel like it's a twin flame connection, or you and someone are high-level soulmates. The bond has been formed with you and this person with the cups. There's a spiritual psychic connection here. There's a bond that has formed, whether you wanted it to or not. This person, they, they're balancing emotions with logic. But they can't control whatever this is. And even to get here with the lovers and then the two of cups, at some point, maybe you and this person, there was some kind of disconnect because there was a third party interference here. Okay. There was a third party interference here, but now the interference is being removed. And the, the interference for some of you, it could be financial challenges. It could be distance. Um, somebody could be in school. Someone could have a friend, family member, or an ex that they were still involved with, or they still had not healed from a situation. Um, somebody simply could just be going, you know, new to their spiritual journey. But but something was was holding up this connection, and now, or you know, the interference could have been just somebody not being ready or willing to really trust the person. Different backgrounds, different co whatever it is, though the gap is closing. The bond has been formed. Like this person, Seven of Cups, they're overanalyzing, overthinking, but they're constantly thinking and fantasizing about you. They could definitely be having dreams. It's something that's going on at night too. This person at night, they're manifesting you. And I'm not talking about like them doing magic. It's like this person at night, they could be journaling. They could be scripting. They could pray every night for this situation to move forward for you know, a sit for the the connection for something to change. It's something about this relationship that I do feel has been stuck and stagnant for us. This person, like they're praying every night, like God, you know, 
remove this blockage or help us to have some kind of breakthrough. You know, if you and this person live in a distance of like somehow, you know, God move us closer to each other or help me get a job that's closer to that person or whatever the case is, whatever breakthrough they need, I'm telling you, they're praying for, they're manifesting it nonstop. Two of Wands here, this person, they're making a decision very soon. Ace of Wands to have a passionate new beginning. But it's something here. There's conflict and chaos, though, around this situation here. The Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. This also could be a group of people who are trying to send a lot of negative energy, chaos, and conflict to you, to you and this person. But look, you have the Six of Swords, the Star, and the Nine of Cups. So you will get past it, but... There, there is some kind of external conflict. This, again, could be this third party. For some of you, this third party interference could be someone's family. Especially if somebody works with their family or their family wants them to work with them or stay close to them or something like that. Somebody here is, is creating chaos or because the five of wands, because like this group of people they have a difference in opinions about this situation. You and this person coming together. It's like they're sending some kind of negative energy out. Like somebody is hoping that this situation will fall apart. They're, they're, they're looking at the situation. I'm telling you, look at that. Three of wands, three of swords. Somebody is hoping while somebody is manifesting for a breakthrough for things to go up, somebody is sitting back hoping that heartbreak comes in. They're hoping that, you know, somebody will lie or cheat or, you know, there will be some kind of sadness or heartbreak. Somebody is really, really hoping that there will be a breakup here. Or separation or you and somebody can't come together. So what what's going on is somebody... Somebody is planning to take the next steps in a relationship. Somebody could be preparing to propose or they're preparing to relocate, move in with someone, start working with a person. Somebody on the outside has gotten a wind of this. And this could be somebody that you know or don't know. Um, somebody could be using tarot or some type of divination to look into someone's life to figure out what's happening. Whoever this is on the outside causing this interference, though, they already know that someone is looking at a person, like I said, as a potential mate, like for marriage. They don't want this person to move away or change jobs or stop hanging out with this group of friends. They don't want this person to keep stop coming around the family or whatever. So it's like this connection is being attacked, but they're purposely trying to drive a wedge in between these two people. Yeah. Nine of Swords, the Hangman, Two of Swords. But I feel that with the Judgment card, somebody is becoming awakened. The Judgment also speaks of a rebirth. Nine of Swords, the Hangman, and the Two of Swords. Somebody is about to see, for sure, that the reason why they have been stuck indecisive, unable to make a choice, is because the Hangman... Somebody's like they've been too busy trying to sacrifice themselves instead of sacrificing these people that don't mean them any good. Like this is a very nice person. In fact, they're too nice. This person has put more on themselves than what they were meant to actually carry. And now someone is actually being advised by the most high God and, and being um, inspired perhaps by a friend or a lover to actually release this attitude of being like a martyr and sacrificing themselves for everyone and to actually go after what they want. It just so happens that a person is being inspired to go after what they want by a person that they want. Wow. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't really think that whatever this situation is for some of you, especially if it's a romantic thing, I don't think that... You or this person intended for it to be this way. I don't. I don't feel like for some of you uh, that this is even a person that you have a lot of history with. It seems like this person, I'm literally hearing just kind of, it's like you or this person just dropped out of heaven. You somehow discovered this person, they discovered you. Both of you 
could be kind of at different places in your journey, but your destination is the same. Your heart is in sync. The king and queen of cups is here. You and this person both could be um, empaths, but one of you may be a little, especially this king of cups, maybe a bit more logical, emotionally balanced. One of you is definitely very intuitive, but this other person due to this, connect, like this other person may be coming into some kind of spiritual gifts. There's something here about the telepathy as well that I'm picking up between you and this person. There's there's an awakening that's happening with everyone in the collective. If you're getting around like a soulmate or a twin flame counterpart or something, you're going to know it now because I feel that the telepathy and everything else is it's like on a on a different level. The king and queen of cups came out together with the empress and the seven of cups. This person is seeing you in their dreams or something. You and this person are sharing thoughts. You're sharing dreams. Like you're, I feel like you're meeting up. For some, it's like the 70. You're meeting up in some, some other realm or dimension. They know who you are. You know who they are. They're not telling you this though. Some of you, you may have an eye. You may feel like this person. Like, oh, they maybe it's something, not something that whoever this is, they're not telling you that they know you're the one, but they know. Or one, one of you or both of you is hiding the fact that you know that this very well could be your person. The chariot, yeah. You're moving forward in this situation. This situation is about to have some kind of breakthrough. Chariot is all about victory. <laughs> the world. Somebody is going to charge ahead and really wrap up a situation here so that they can finally accomplish like true wish fulfillment. Seven of Pentacles and someone, you or this person, are finding the strength to finally invest in yourself and in this connection. The Seven of Pentacles, though, somebody has for a long time been unsure about something. Unsure about, you know, should I leave my friends or family alone? Should I relocate? Should I start this new job? There's been a lot of uncertainty here. But even with the uncertainty, somebody was still planning. Somebody now is getting the strength and the courage to just go ahead. Yeah, the tower, they're like, forget it. Just whatever needs to be torn down, let's just tear it down. Somebody's like, give it to me straight. Let's just get it over. I feel somebody's like, let's just get it over with. Whatever the, the deception of the portrayal, just rip the mask off of everything so we can move forward. Five of swords, yeah. Somebody is just like, literally, just hurt me so that I know what it is and I can move forward. Just give it to me. I feel somebody's just like, just give it to me straight. Five of swords is being like disappointed and defeated. Which obviously makes a person feel sad, like a failure. Yeah, somebody is finding the strength to tear an entire foundation down. Yeah, look at that, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Or this happened to somebody. Somebody could have invested in a situation. Oh, okay. Somebody could have invested in a situation in the past and the entire foundation fell down. And the, the it's interesting because before, next to the lovers was the queen of wands. This queen of wands, the, the, somebody is still dealing with a person from their past or the pain of their situation is still bothering this person. The seven of pentacles is here with the strength card and the tower. So this person... Somebody has been feeling a masculine. This person has been feeling very, very doubtful and insecure. Just like I said, uncertain about whether or not they should or could man, like um, really invest in another situation. Because when they had a foundation before with this Queen of Wands person, it turned out to be a total disaster. And they had the whatever foundation they built with this person. They were forced to tear it down. This person does not want to experience failure. So before when I was saying somebody's like, the last thing I want to do is disappoint you. This person, this masculine is an empath. 
they know what failure, disappointment, deception, but they know what that feels like. They do not want, this person is really trying to protect your heart. They don't want you to feel that. They don't want to be the person that comes in your life, gets your hopes up, and then they disappoint you because they've been in a relationship with somebody that they thought was very, it was promising and it failed. Yeah, five of pentacles. This person was in a relationship and they lost everything. They lost everything. They also lost a lot of their, their pride and their dignity. This person like started to feel isolated. They were really lacking and slacking. They became very insecure after this situation with somebody. Seven of Wands, yep. And now they may be very defensive. They may even come off as stubborn because they're trying so hard to protect themselves. But now it is harder because the three of cups, this person, they want to celebrate with you. There's a bond here. They want to celebrate with you. Four of swords. They, want to, they feel like when they celebrate with you with the four of swords that they actually get to rest. They feel at peace. So this Defensive energy that they have been in, their guard is dropping down. Yep, death. I feel like this is about to be the eight of swords. Death. This person is no longer feeling stuck, trapped, helpless. This person was stuck and trapped by their own heartbreak and pain. It was holding this person hostage. Whoop, four of pentacles. I cannot make this up. And this person lost a lot. Bless their little heart. Justice. It's being balanced out though. Nine of wands. They stood in this protective defense mode for a while. This person has, life has really tested this person. The king of pentacles. But they're determined to have it. They're determined to make it back. They're determined to get back everything they lost. And when they get it, it looks like they want to share it with somebody. Five of cups. Yeah. They're like, they've been very disappointed. But again, all is not lost. That two of cups is still standing. Ace of swords. That's the truth. They've all, they made a decision now. Oh, four of wands. Oh my gosh. They made a decision. They've made a decision to leave it all behind. Knight of swords. Eight of cups. The emperor. Wow, Page of Cups. Wow, Page of Pentacles. So they're saying I'm coming in with my heart and, and I'm coming in with, with the money and the plan. 